okay currently we do not have any search or any products here okay so uh, now let's add through admin panel so log I have logged into the admin panel let's add some products so I'll uh, give it name start black and now if uh, I hit create so it is giving me this error because we added our price field later so uh, let's uh, go to products uh, let's go to product inside app product okay so here uh, we made everything fillable uh, what we are missing is price okay so that is not getting inserted okay so now if we hit all right let's go to this and now let's hit create yeah so you should create so uh, inside products controller inside here store so we are re uh, redirecting this to admin index instead we want to in uh, redirect it to product index okay so that make more sense uh, let's see how many categories we got here okay looks like category is not showing in our form let's check it out yeah we are only getting men so let's uh, check what is the issue so okay let's go to the product create page so I think that is inside create okay here uh, yeah so we are hard coding that just replace this with category categories I think okay let's check inside product controller create okay this is categories okay just make sure you got this okay you might have this already okay now let's uh, go to create page and here yeah we can see categories okay so now let's add another product okay we can see here product new okay all right cool okay so we have added four products uh, we can see it here and here as well okay next we'll add the card shopping card okay so that after hitting the car add to card it should go up here and from here we can check out okay so uh, to add card I'm using this uh, package okay here uh, so it's really cool package it will save some time okay let's uh, start by installing it I'll copy this command into my terminal and wait for it to install okay next we'll just uh, put this in our provider okay config app okay go to config app and we'll put this just uh, below our laravel collective package okay we need to put comma here so next we'll add this to our alias just below over here okay now our package is installed okay next uh, we can use this to add this to our card okay and yeah so we'll make a new controller card controller and there we'll be handling this okay let's make new controller php artisan make controller controller card controller okay let's make resource okay card controller is created and okay let's go to web.php and here okay here below this 
home controller will make our new uh, card and it should go to card controller card controller and we'll make this resource full not get resource okay so now we have uh, this uh, card and let's go to card controller and here uh, when someone adds uh, add to card we want to uh, make it hit any route like uh, let's make it create okay okay so here uh, we we have these methods so if we want to add any item we can just call card add okay so uh, with uh, this is the ID and this is the product name uh, quantity price and if you want to add size you can add like so okay okay so here create I uh, will give your ID so uh, this will be the product ID product ID and I uh, will get the product hmm. so product okay bear in mind uh, if you uh, do this you have to import don't forget this okay okay next I uh, will call the card okay so uh, card add we have to add first one ID so yeah you can give product product uh, product ID and name of product will be product name okay product name and next is uh, quantity so by default quantity will be one uh, so if uh, we hit add to card one time so it should send uh, hit this route and create one uh, add one item to the card and price will be product okay now this should add the item to the card and in index method uh, what we'll do is we'll get the item of card okay uh, so the uh, yeah so uh, you can get like this card content content of card okay uh, yes let's do that so card content okay we'll uh, return a view named card uh, dot index so let's create that inside our views resources views okay we will create here new directory call cart and inside there we'll create new file called uh, index so this will extend the layout dot main okay it will be easier if we make table so below we'll make a table okay so table so header will be name size okay so yeah we'll loop through mm, and construct yeah rows for each item and we we can delete this whole stuff so we'll end the loop and for each okay so here we'll show first one a uh, cart item name cart item price 
so uh, and if uh, card item options uh, yeah options size so if this is available we'll show the cart item options size and if that is not available what do we want to show we want to show nothing okay so we can call has method here size okay it looks good uh, and we have to end the section down below end section okay so now that uh, we have mm, this uh, now let's uh, create link and update the link so uh, what uh, we want to do is we want to put the link here uh, to add the card add to the card and here to show so let's do that okay let's go to the so our front uh, we, uh, first let's go to home so inside home here we have this add to cart okay and this is just a class so we'll just add href okay so this should point to okay this should point to route card dot create and we should pass this id okay so this is how we pass id cert id okay so let's check this out okay we add that in our front not in our search so here you can see down below okay card dot create mm, okay you know what uh, there is slightly okay we need to change slightly because here okay this create method do not cut mm. so we can just uh, transfer this code okay for now just uh, put this inside edit and change this to id okay you can create new uh, method and new route name so that will take some time so i will just put this here and if we need that we'll update it okay so let's change the route so as you can see uh, here uh, below here the URL is not right because that default route name uh, do not contains the ID as the parameter we cannot pass that so we can only pass in edit or so so yeah for now let's do this and uh, let's go to front home and instead of create we'll pass it to edit refresh this and let's see yeah so okay okay we need to go to card controller looks like this is importing from okay we need to import this facades okay okay so now let's uh, go back and do once again yeah so now that's uh, should have added that uh, we can see that um, by going to index page but we haven't created it yet okay we have created that but uh, we haven't passed uh, this compact and where name will our name will be card items let's give it that variable card items 
okay cool so you can see here index space card items card item okay so uh, let's add that link to this URL here header so let's go there so that should be inside layout main and okay here is card so here we'll put that so route is card dot index okay yeah card dot index so refresh once again hope everything is all right let's click here okay view card dot index not found okay because it is inside where is that okay it created here so I will just take it to the views okay so by mistake I created it inside auth just move it back to views and here now it should work okay you can see it here so product price quantity okay so looks, looks like it's working and we want to update this according to our cart item so let's go back to main.blade and inside here batch what we want to do is cart okay that should return the cart count okay we need to pass that to this view okay I think it uh, okay, it works cool so currently there is one item you can see here uh, let's add couple more so let's add this as well okay let's uh, redirect it back after adding and okay inside card controller after the edit okay after this I uh, will return back okay so let's go back uh, refresh it now we can see two item let's add this one as well yeah three items this as well okay four now let's check out how many items yeah so these so now uh, let's add this uh, third bla black once more let's see third black okay name is slightly that okay we can see five and yeah third black is quantity two okay so our uh, next uh, what we'll do is uh, we're gonna do uh, just make it uh, form like okay so that we can change the quantity and size here okay so let's do that in our card index so quantity so let's expand this a bit okay we'll make a simple form okay so open the form so that should take us to the route car dot store okay car dot update so here uh, yeah let's keep the method post and we'll create here this text field so mm, yeah 
okay let's create new input field uh, here we'll make simple input field call text and uh, it will contain value by default this value okay so uh, we'll create simple submit button okay we'll create input type submit class button button small button default and we'll give value of okay just okay so that looks good mm. okay card update here okay we need to use like this route card okay actually we can do like this and we can pass another parameter called card item okay cool Okay, let's test this uh, undefined variable row ID okay sorry about that okay so it made this much bigger okay let's reduce the width uh, just make this width uh, 50 pixel 50 pixels all right so for now this is okay uh, let's change it to two right now it shouldn't yeah so so method is uh, put okay okay so now everything works fine uh, now in card controller let's go to update method so here uh, what we want to do is we want to yeah so one thing here inside index let's give it name as well name will be quantity Okay, so now let's go back to card controller and here inside update first uh, so we got is method card uh, we can update by uh, row ID and we can just call update method okay so card update okay and update card update and we have to put the row ID that is the row ID and we need to request uh, pass the quantity value new value so that will be available in here and we want to redirect it to back Hit ok return back ok let's check this out let's go back let's refresh let's make it 2 okay okay now it's 2 okay so let's make it 6 and pass okay yeah so that's working fine okay what you can do is you can just uh, make this as it is and if someone uh, click edit you can show this form and update it so right now it's okay uh, so this is all item in our card and here we'll uh, just put total and uh, quantity total so let's go to card index 
Mm. Yes. So why we want to put that is I uh, will make a new row. Okay. Just down below table row and table data data okay so first one is for name second one is for price third one is for quantity okay so second one is price and what we want to do is we want to just show the total okay so uh, total will be we can just do card total card total all right yeah so last one is uh mm, item card count although we don't need that because count is already showing above okay so let's refresh this Okay, we can see it here and here total item so we can put here grand total and here items okay we can put dollar sign okay that looks fine okay let's add simple button here we'll call it checkout all right let's check this out okay and so this is our uh, simple shopping cart so you can uh, fix the CSS issues so that will make the video longer if I keep going on that okay so now we have a simple functionality where we can add the item to the cart okay so like so so on clicking checkout we now will uh, uh, redirect the user to the uh, shipping information phase and all delivery information or login whatever so next will be in next video we'll cover all those things so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye